Hello! Welcome back to part 21 of Let's Play Dark Souls. So, uh, we're still in the Duke's archives. Um, there's just a cool little shot I figured we'll get. Uh, we've, we came up here before, we went that way last time at the end of the episode, fell off and died, came back again, and got the maiden set. Right here is the way forward, these big um, ominous doors. So, we found the keys at the bottom. We know that we have to rescue Big Hat again. So, we're gonna do that. And we're gonna do that by going this way using our tower giant door key. Um, over there are some crystals. Once we get over there we can get a better view. Now be really careful around here because they like to put a lot of enemies around the corner in this level, which is I'm not a fan of. Thankfully, uh, no, let's, uh, let's take out the archer first and then we'll come back and get a view. And like I just said, you're gonna want to be careful because there was an enemy around the corner. But I just wanted to rush him, and you know, these guys annoy me so much that I will just shamelessly go for back steps. Um, so, anyway, get them out of the way. Let's, uh, let's take a second here and look at some things. Um, okay, yeah, so we're gonna be actually coming into this area near the end, but over there is a really big crystal formation. Um, and you know, Seath being all about crystals, we can probably find them over there. Um, and exactly where we are, by the way, is technically the highest part of An Orlando, or just Lordran rather. Um, you know, An Orlando being at the top, the Duke's archives being the uh, the building at the top of the hill, and somewhere in this level is technically the highest. Point. Oh god, these guys! So let's give him a smack while he's dancing and take him out. Which is I'm really glad we got him there, because uh, as we're about to see, this part is a bit of like a puzzle area and um, there's a lot of spinning staircases and a lot of sort of like one-way drops, if that'll make sense in a second here. And you know, with them teleporting all over the place, you'll you know, swipe them, do a little bit of damage, they teleport off, and then repeat, and then this is all you're doing. I'm like, literally, where did this guy come from? <laughs> I'm telling you, they show up out of nowhere. Um, but we're gonna navigate it best we can. and. I do have to always check every corner of this area because I always forget, like, in case you look, there's not a treasure chest over here, and it doesn't look like there's one over there, but so there's a handful of treasure chests in this area, specifically in those spots near, like, the end of the hallway. Um, so there might be some up there, which we'll check in a second. But, okay, yeah, so he's gonna be shooting arrows at us, but first let's just get some backstabs things out. It's also really easy to get disoriented here. Um, I'll try to do my best to keep things sane. But a lot of this area is pointless too. Like I don't know if we had to go where we just did. Although, is that a treasure chest over there? I don't think it is. No. Yeah, so we, we could have just ignored this little spot right away. <laughs> um, but, you know, killing the archer is always handy. This guy right here. Uh, no point though. He, if he had just immediately done this, where Come here, spin it. And down there is the beginning of the level, if you remember. And somewhere around here we're gonna have to do a bit of a trick shot with this spinning elevator to get a special item. Oh, one shot, nice. And okay, there wasn't one over there. So you, you, uh, you go up there, you spin the elevator, you come here, fight your way through the hallway, do a little matrix dodge there. Got the archer. And and those guys will drop just like their common equipment. Like it's nothing special. But, like they just drop. Actually, I think they will drop like crystal swords. But the longbows. These are just normal run-of-the-mill longbows. No need to farm them. Um, okay, that guy's being really annoying. But now that we're here, we can drop down and run up on that guy, which is exactly what we're gonna do. Oh god! And hopefully get the kill. Yep. Gotta watch an arrow just come out of nowhere and kill me. Um, okay, look, and there's a treasure chest. So, like I said, you want to be thorough. You don't want to miss any of this good stuff. Not that I think we actually need any of it, but going for thoroughness. Um, ooh, strong magic shield. That's a that's a cool spell. It'll uh, strengthen your shield with magic defense, as well as just make it generally better. Um, but again, you can only do that on non-special shields. And we're rocking the uh, the Dragon Crest Shield, which is, you better believe, is special. So anyway, um, yeah, if we 
go here. I'm gonna frown where we have to go, because uh, it's, it's on the top of one of these bookshelves where we're gonna have to drop off as it's spinning, <laughs> and then uh, in doing that, it'll uh, we'll gain access to a secret item. Now that we're here, okay, yeah, let's uh, let's throw a fireball at this guy if we can lock on. Hopefully that'll get the job done. Yeah, uh, I don't think yeah, you can't even get. Okay, well, you might be able to make that jump actually. But if we come down here and slide on down. We're going to find this switch here, and by pulling the lever, we'll open the secret mystery bookshelf entrance, <laughs> and uh, now we have that shortcut unlocked. Um, however, the real nice thing is right here, which is another bonfire. Now, you may want to um, grab a key and just use a homeward bone, so that way you go back to the other bonfire. It'll be quicker to save Big Hat Logan. Which, now that I think about it, I think is what I'm actually going to do. <laughs> um, so, before I rest at that bonfire, let's come in here, and there's going to be a lot of treasure chests in these next rooms. And there's definitely going to be at least one mimic. Not this one. Um, ooh, so here we get the channeler set, so we can cosplay as one of those channelers. Um, interesting fun fact about those things is that... Uh, Seath is blind, but his channelers have six eyes, which, um, oh, and there's the key we need. With six eyes, like, I don't know if six is, like, significant, but, um, Seath basically, like, can telepathically see through the eyes of his chan channelers. And so it's with them he's able to see all of Lordran. Um, cool little thing, I guess. Um, smart to do if you're blind. <laughs> um, ooh, we got the symbol of Avarice. Okay, that's, a. Uh, we'll talk about that in a minute here. Uh, this guy drops an enchanted fel falchion. Which is kind of cool. And I believe there's, there's one more treasure chest around here. And yeah, right there. I don't think it's a mimic. It is not. And in here we're going to find blue tight night junk. Cool. I thought there's one more treasure chest though. No, let me, let me look because there's one item in this area. Oh, it might be downstairs actually. So. We'll quickly do that. Uh, if you pull this switch here, this, uh, if I can pull it, this, uh, I don't even know what you'd call it right now, but it's going to turn into a uh, stairwell, which we can go down. Um, that goes into that garden area we were overlooking, and can you calm down? All right, see, so once, once I got the hang of them, they're not too bad. Okay, here's the last one, and I believe this is going to contain for us... No, prism stones. Dang it. <laughs> well, okay. Those are cool. I think I talked about them, but you can drop them to see how far distances and uh, for the next area we're going, they're going to be very important. But I swear I'm not... Oh, it might be behind one of these bookshelves. Um, yeah, there it is. See, I told you. I told you. I'm not crazy. In here, we're going to find the crystal ember. Yes. So with this thing, we're going to be able to make uh, crystal weapons of our own. Yeah, so if we want to upgrade like a longsword to be a crystal longsword, we can go ahead and do that. Um, now, I'm probably not going to make any, but they're uh, an interesting thing to make for, uh, for PvP builds. Just like, you know, make, buy some weapons that you can actually buy, just convert them as you need, kill people, and then use the souls that you earned to, um, to just buy more weapons and upgrade them and repeat. So <laughs> maybe we'll do that. I don't know, probably won't. So let's uh, make our way back down. We're going to have to kill the Picassos again, which is kind of annoying, but... Not a big deal. We saw how effective our Great Chaos Fireball was. And make the long trek down. So this is why it's annoying is that, like, you know, your first time you might go and uh, rest at the bonfire that I said not to. And then you have to backtrack all the way back here. Now, the thing is, though, you're kind of screwed either way because your, al your alternative would be to rest at the bonfire that way and then backtrack manually. And then once you're here, you, uh, you can just homeward bone back to over there. Now, I didn't do that because, I don't know, <laughs> both options are just going to result in a lot of walking for you, so let's kind of just make a decision. Um, ooh, ooh. Okay, okay. Yeah, I don't even know what that, like, oh, okay, see, this is why you close the doors, otherwise they're going to follow you out of their cells. 
shouldn't be so scared of these guys. They really do go down pretty easily. Let's see, can I get off? Where did... Oh no! These two came down. Let's see how well this works. I just, I just want to heal, guys. I just, I just want to use some Estus. Okay, there we go. Haha, <laughs> he blocked them. Oh, what, what are these flanking tactics? <laughs> okay, I don't like this. They're not supposed to be this smart. Okay, but then he'll go wander off. Alright, let's just kill one, and now we can focus our efforts. Take out the other. Well, yeah, so, always watch your back. <laughs> <laughs> Never assume you're safe in Dark Souls, because chances are you're not. And I think those might have been the ones up there. Because I don't think the ones up there will just run up and ignore you normally. Either way, let's move on with our lives. Let's not overthink it. Okay, take you out. And take you out. Still got me. Alright, and uh, oh, and the two crying ones, by the way, I think they're like mini bosses, they won't respawn. So it's kind of cool. So now let's see what Logan has to say. Oh, thank you very much. I'm saved. That makes twice. I must be sure to repay you. I will visit the archives. If I discover any new spells, I shall share them with you. Prepare to be impressed by the onward march of Sorcery. Alright, anything else? Hello. Don't mind me. Go on ahead. I'll head out soon. I wish to lay down my plans before I visit the archives. So yeah, so Logan being the magic nerd he is, he's of course just seething to read all these uh all these books that are around here. Um, but anyway, right here, we get our final firekeeper soul that we can uh, find at least. <laughs> but with that we'll be able to upgrade our flame I mean our Estus again. Once we uh, once we uh, run into another firekeeper, so let's uh, make our way back up here. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, using a homeward bone would just take us up a little bit. So we are gonna have to pretty much redo the level. <laughs> kind of annoying, but that's uh, the pain of Dark Souls. Now I would like to rest the bonfire because I used up a bit of my Estus there. And I think it's... nope, next one should be... Maybe that one, actually. That one that looks like it has a fire coming out of it. It's probably the one with the bonfire. And yeah, and we do have enough to level up, so may as well. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna go too much more attunement just yet. Uh, we'll just invest in our intelligence. We are in the Duke's archives, after all. May as well do magic stuff. Now, okay, the cool thing is with these guys is that since they just run past you, you can uh, get easy backstabs on them. And like, you know, like I said, if they're just going to give them to me, <laughs> may as well. I think, uh, personally, I think they should have been set up to only run if the alarm is on, you know, because they should be running from the monsters as opposed to just running past the player. Kind of derpy, but... You know, nothing's perfect. Um, or who knows, maybe maybe they are in a rush. Maybe there's a perfect explanation for why they don't care about you right there. And yeah, see, look, these guys are so fast. Got the little shield bash move there. And, oh, the arrow got me. <laughs> Did I mention that I really don't like these crystal hollows? I think I can get the one shot on these things. Yeah. Oh, thank you for not jumping attack. Pay you with a backstab. Now, we already sort of saw this area, so I'm going to try to not smell the roses too much. And... Oh, yeah, okay. I forgot to mention, but here in the Duke's archives, these channelers, they do respawn. Ah, see? Teleporting. Not fun. Let's, uh, let's take the stairs this time. Uh, we did have to sort of do the whole... Just kill him while I have the chance. This guy's also annoying me. This whole place annoys me. Uh, we did have to go the original route and out. <sighs> My pain is eternal. I'll meet you guys back here. So, I don't know if I ever mentioned, by the way, but 
Um, a cool thing about Dark Souls is that you can literally run past every enemy in the game if you want, which I did, so there might be some guys chasing us. And oh, I forgot about you. Oh, ho, ho. same thing really happened. As long as you never make the same mistake twice in Dark Souls, you're good. It's okay to make mistakes. Just learn from them. <laughs> make it stop. Oh, Jesus. There's no way I don't die at least one more time. No! Okay, good roll, good roll. Okay, I'm in panic mode right now. <laughs> God, they get so many angles on me. <laughs> that would have killed me. Okay, okay. I am playing way too risky here. Oh god. I'm gonna have nightmares for these guys tonight. Um, okay, quick idea. Let's be smart and use our crest shield, which has a little bit more magic defense. So we can actually block some of these. Oh god. Yeah, I think they also have high poison. Um, okay. I think I will mention uh, the weakness for these guys, by the way, is blunt damage. As in um, weapons that, uh, weapons that like you know maces and the likes. And okay, this does take us back to the entrance. And I'm wondering where that thing I want is. Oh, okay. I don't think it's here. Just heal up real quick. Pretty sure it's in here somewhere. Let's let's get to the bonfire first. How about that? If I die, I don't want to come all the way back here. Uh, I think it's up there somewhere. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, another annoying thing here is this is the one part of the game where you cannot roll through the furniture. I don't know why, he must have got the good stuff built. Went to, you know, your, oh god, oh god. your locally made Amish carpenter furniture as opposed to the... Ah, okay, we made it. We made it. <laughs> We're safe. Uh, we didn't get our health restored because we got hit by the bonfire, of course. Uh, not enough for level up. Uh, I don't think we need anything else here. But now if we die, we'll be right back here. Right. Now, where is the thing I want? It's somewhere around here. Alright, let me, let me try clearing the area first. And then... Deep breaths, deep breaths. <laughs> see what we can do. Oh god. I just see the, as soon as I see them jump, even if it doesn't look like they're going to hit me. What is annoying though is that our handy knight sword, I think we're just doing like a hair short of damage to one shot them, which is really annoying. I'm glad we got that. Normally it can be annoying to get the backstabs on stairs. Oh, and here, as you can see, we can get those crystal weapons I was talking about. Yeah, it can be a bit annoying to get backstabs on stairs sometimes because uh, the hitbox gets offset. Mm, but. Usually it'll work. <laughs> anyway, let's, um, okay, I think we're safe right here to just, no, we're not. Okay, but we are. So I don't see, there should be an item on top of one. Oh my god. <sighs> I hope you guys are at least enjoying all my suffering. Um, I would, I've, I've had, I've done my share of enjoying other YouTubers suffering. So I don't, okay, can't be in here because no, we just looked all the staircase, all the bookshelves here do not have items on top. Uh, okay, we're out of the line of fire. Let's take this guy out. Oh, okay, so a dash attack will take him out. Um, oh my god. I think there's multiple archers here, which is the problem. confused here. Let me, uh... Okay, rather than do this for 20 minutes, let me go and look up where to go <laughs> on the internet. So I'll be right back. Okay, so the problem was I was looking for an item, whereas what we really want is that treasure chest right there. Yeah. So uh, there's a few ways to get this. Um, we are going to have to go up there to the um, the spinning staircase area. So let's go ahead and do that. There is a trick I just saw that might make this whole thing a lot easier. 
Although I am a little bit worried I don't actually have enough health for this, <laughs> so we'll see here. Um, depending on how much I die, we may or may not call it quits. Uh, so let's come up here and just two archers, just two archers, and I ran out of stamina. Oh, nice. Uh, knew you were coming. See, so yeah, I just I just assumed someone's coming. Wow. These guys so much. Hit this area, I want to be done with it. Okay, so uh, we're going to have to pull a little bit of a trick shot here. We have to first spin this thing here. And then what we want to do is basically jump off at the right time, right when we're above it. But there is something else we can do. So normally it's very hard to get to this part of the area of the game. But what you can do is, come up here, you spin it this way, and normally down there is now inaccessible, right? Because there's no, there's no other ways there. But if while we're on the stairs, we quit the game, for some reason, um, I guess, you know, it doesn't register the stairs as a spot that you can be on, it'll put us back down here, right? And so now we've essentially cheated the game. Now we can take the easy way down and go and drop right here onto, whoa, almost got shot. Right here, and as long as I don't die, oh, nice, did have enough. We can come here, and I'm going to be quick here to open this and grab the Avalon, which is an interesting, an interesting bow. <laughs> okay, that's, that's going to be annoying to get those souls back. So... Let's uh, quickly talk about the Avalon and the symbol of Avarice, which I, I forgot to last time. The Avalon is a uh, cool, nifty little crossbow, which will shoot three at once. It's basically a medieval shotgun, I guess you can call it. I'm wondering if I got... I don't even have any... Oh, no, here are the bolts. That's, uh, I don't think I've ever actually used this thing properly, but as you can see, it is one heck of a contraption. So if we shoot it... Oh, yeah, look at that. Ew. Now, we'll eventually come across an NPC that uses this monstrosity, but uh, we're, we're not going to concern ourselves with it too much. That is just way too uh, evil villain-ish villain of a weapon <laughs> for us. I think I guess we're, we're the knight in China, remember? We're, we're better than that. Um, but as far as that other thing we got, the uh, symbol of avarice. Yeah, so this is a cool thing, something that you want to be looking out for. You're not guaranteed to get it, but it's a rare drop from Mimics. It will... It will boost your item discovery, so it's like wearing the gold serpent ring, and it'll also give you more souls, um, but you just, you look like this, so. <laughs> uh, it also has a nasty side effect of steadily draining your health, so I would not recommend just wearing this thing all the time. This is better to wear if you're farming for something, whether it's souls or an item. Um, the thing is, the the item discovery chance, like, so for drops, things that you want to, items that you want to get, that does not stack, so you, you can just wear the gold serpent ring instead of this and you'll be fine. But if you're harvesting souls, um, it will stack with a certain ring that we're going to find eventually, which we don't have yet. So anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Um, I'm going to go find my souls again off camera, but um, <laughs> once I'm back, we're going to continue on in this direction. So guys, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you have fun. hope you enjoyed the show, as always. Um, let's see what's going on. Let's see point forward. We don't do that much anymore. And I'll see you guys next time. So long.